Glenda, it is simply unimaginable. Chadney Allen Sr. lost his only children, allegedly killed by a man who tried to use an insanity defense in 1992 when he killed his wife and unborn child. My daughter was beautiful, cheerleading, and she had her head on her shoulders. And my son was a graduate. He was doing things, making, he wanted to be a producer, you know. He had high potential. Yeah. I just felt like I lost all my, you know, I never knew that it would end so soon like this. Chadney Allen Sr. cannot believe his two children, 17-year-old Kara and 19-year-old Chadney Jr. are gone. Police say their stepfather shot them both in front of their mother to punish her because she wanted a divorce and he suspected she had been cheating. I know they were calling for me. I know my daughter. They, wish I, they was wishing I was there to help them. Dearborn Heights police say Gregory Green also murdered his own biological daughters, six-year-old Coy and four-year-old Kaylee. Green's brother claims the children's mother, Faith Green, knew her husband murdered his first wife, Tanya. Like I got hit by a semi-truck because I had no idea that that guy was that who he was. I was totally just numb. We talked on the phone to Monica Johnson. It was her cousin, Tanya Green, who Gregory Green murdered in 1991. Tanya's oldest daughter, Danielle, hid in a closet. Her youngest, Bridget, had cerebral palsy and was not injured. But Tanya was pregnant with Green's baby when he stabbed her to death. The last stab when they said went through the baby's heart and that's what actually killed the baby. The family was devastated a second time when Green was only sentenced to 15 years in prison. I hope he never sees daylight again. The father of two of Green's latest murder victims wishes he had known that Green murdered his first wife, an unborn child. I don't even think any punishment could fit the crime. If we had the electric chair, I would want him to fry. And in 1992, Gregory Green's own mother asked the judge for leniency in that murder case. She said, quote, I don't believe a long sentence will make him any better because he has suffered already and will continue to suffer for the rest of his life. She died several years ago, never knowing he would be charged again with the same crime. Reporting live in downtown Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. All right, Kim, thank you. And we